Hey, hey, hey everyone, it's Mike from Mike Talks ASMR, and today we're going to be playing a really cool game called Final Fantasy 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, Final Fantasy 7. And Final Fantasy 7 has been ported a whole bunch of different consoles and on the PC so today we are going to play it on the Nintendo switch 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 now they just remade this game actually for the PlayStation 4 but there's something special about the original now, although the remake is very, very good, don't get me wrong, it's very good. There's just something really special to me about the original. It's actually the very first Final Fantasy I, I ever beat. So, we are Cloud Strife. That's our name. And right now, we are fighting a corporation known as the... Shinra. 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 We are working with a terrorist group known as Avalanche. And our mission is to blow up all of the Mako. Mako, 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 Mako reactors in order to save the planet because the Mako reactors are destroying the planet. So Biggs says to us, wow, you used to be in soldier, huh? Soldier is like special forces. Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in soldier, Jesse, but he quit and is with us now. I didn't catch your name. So we're just going to keep it to the default here. Yeah, there we go. Just hitting the wrong thing. Cloud. Cloud A, I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. Ooh. Barrett says, The hell you all doing? I thought I told you never to move into a group. Our target's the North Mako Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Okay. Barrett is the leader of Avalanche. He says, ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust ya. So we'll leave his name as the default as well. Press the directional buttons while pressing B. 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 B, 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 B. To run. Okay, and now we're going to get a little cutscene of us looking at the Mako reactor. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big structure. Pretty impressive. So now we're just going to follow these guys. And through the door. And we get attacked again, but that's okay. We're going to take care of these soldiers I mean they're not in the group soldier but they're soldiers they're Shinra soldiers and they are finished games pretty easy to start with it gets harder of course but to start with they kind of ease you right into it So Barrett says, yo, this your first time in a reactor? Cloud says, no, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of, the, of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. All right, you come with me from now on. So now Barrett joins our party. 
and um, Biggs and Jesse are deciphering codes so that way we can get in through the doors and we come down here and there's a treasure chest and we get a phoenix down a oh, phoenix down phoenix down phoenix down phoenix down phoenix down phoenix down what a phoenix down does is revives one of your fallen allies in battle okay Accidentally hit the wrong button there. Okay. So, we come through to this elevator. And we push the down button. Down. And now, Barrett's gonna talk with us a little more. He says, little by little, the reactors will drain, all, drain out all the life. Then that'll be that. It's not my problem, says Cloud. Barrett says, the planet's dying, Cloud. It's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. Man, we're just, we're just not a very nice person. We don't care. We don't care about the planet. We don't care about the planet for some reason. Can't be a perfect good guy all the time, right? Okay, so we're going to run down these stairs, and we encounter a battle. And this will be the first battle we have with our companion, Barret. Now, I'm going to be doing a lot of the things that you can do in this game, but I'm not actually going to be 100%ing this game. I know, I know, but... This game would have like a thousand parts to it if I 100%ed it, because there's a lot of stuff in this game. So Jesse teaches us how to use ladders, and we use a ladder, climb down, and there should be like a potion or something down here. Yep, okay. And then we get into another fight. So the hallmark of a JRPG, which is what this is, a Japanese role-playing game, is random encounters. Random. Random encounters, random encounters, random encounters, random encounters, random encounters, random encounters. So you walk around and then you randomly encounter monsters. So we finish that battle. We get our stuff. Money in this game is called Gil. We're gonna jump down. And come across this bridge here. And this is our first materia. Materia, 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 materia. Materia, materia. Materia. Of the game. And materia basically allows you to use magic. But we can't equip it yet. Barrett says, when we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. So obviously, you can see Barrett does not trust us. Watch out, this isn't just a reactor. So some voice just, I don't know, he just came over Cloud and was warning him about the reactor. So Barrett says, what's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. So Cloud 
sets the bomb, and now alarms go off. Uh-oh, we made a mistake. Heads up, here it comes. So now we get our first boss battle of the game, which is this giant mechanized scorpion. Pretty cool, huh? So he's going to be using search scope on us. Search scope, search scope, search scope, search, search scope. That's hard to say. That was the wrong move. I thought that was lightning. That's okay. <laughs> we'll get it. There we go. That's much better. So basically, when it uses the search scope, that means that it's going to be targeting that particular person. So it's going to be targeting poor Barrett again. And Barrett now uses a limit break, limit break, limit break, limit break, limit break called Big Shot. Big Shot, 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 Shot. And now we have to be very careful here because eventually speaking, we're going to do enough damage so that the scorpion is going to raise his tail and we just, we just made a big mistake. So, so the scorpion raised its tail right when we put the bolt in for a command and now we're in trouble. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We're going to patiently wait for him to lower his tail. He's going to lower his tail eventually, and then, and then, and then, 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 we will be able to hit him with our limit break. And Cloud's limit break right now is called Braver, 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 Braver. You can learn a bunch of these limit breaks in this game. So, you'll be seeing a lot of them as we play. And it's going to be cool. It's going to be real cool. So, the scorpion, the mechanized scorpion, has been defeated. High five. Low five. Yeah. You're the best. Indestructible team right here. We're so awesome. So, we get an assault gun. That's a weapon for Barrett. So we got 10 minutes till detonation, but we're going to equip Barrett with the assault gun and then start getting uh, out of here. Only 10 minutes, but I'm not worried. We'll be fine. We're gonna have Barrett target that thing in the back. We're gonna bolt that thing in the back as well. Normally, targeting something in the back row does less damage to it, but since Barrett has a long-ranged weapon, since Barrett has a long-ranged weapon, it does the same amount of damage as if it were in the front row. So, we're going to climb up this ladder. Start making our way out of the reactor. We've got plenty of time, no worries. 10 minutes is more than enough to get out of here. Gonna climb up this ladder, and as you can see, Jessie is stuck. We say, you all right? She says, my leg got stuck. Thanks, so we save her and start climbing up the ladder. You have to save her or else you will not be able to leave the reactor. Okay, so we have a back attack here and that means we just hit the shoulder buttons here or the bumpers rather and 
that will turn us about face. We use the big shot limit break on him and that does him in. Notice that we are doing less damage, but Barrett is not doing less damage because when we are attacked on the, in the back, we do less damage. But since Barrett, again, has the long ranged weapon, he does the same amount of damage. No problem. Okay, so let's continue. We're doing very well. Got plenty of time. Just up these stairs. Up, 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 and through to the elevator. And up. Elevator, 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 elevator. Tor, 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 tor. Okay. And now we talk to Jessie. And she deciphers that code. And then we talk to. I keep wanting to call him James, but his name's Biggs. His name's Biggs. I have Pokemon on the brain, obviously. Jesse James. Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. So we got these laser cannon dudes. And we take care of them in short order. Get our victory dance. And our experience and our gill and then start making our way out and we made it good job high five low five yes side five how does that work maybe like a scoop down or something like that okay so the reactor blows up we make it out and now we're gonna, I guess, blow off the entrance so they can't come in and do repairs easily or something. But Big says, that should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah, says Wedge. Barrett says nothing. Okay, now everyone get back. So that gets blown up if we expertly roll out of there because we are the best. We're the indestructible team. We're awesome. And uh, poor Wedge, he gets his butt burnt. He gets his butt burnt. Butt burnt, butt burnt, butt burnt, burnt, burnt. Barrett says, all right, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Cloud says, hey, hey. If it's about your money, wait till we get back. That did seem kind of like an inconvenient time to ask for money. All right, so that character right there is Eris, and Eris is basically the main um, love interest of Cloud. You could kind of argue that Tifa is too, but it's really Eris. So she says, excuse me. Then she goes, what happened? So we're going to say nothing. Hey, don't see many flowers around here. She says, oh, these, do you like them? They're only one gill. So we're going to buy one. Oh, thank you, she says. Here you are. So we bought one. Now we're going to come running through here. Everybody's going nuts because there was just a giant explosion. We get a potion. And now we're going to get chased down by soldiers. Hey, you there. Let's fight them. Let's fight those soldiers. We're rebellious. We're going to fight them. Plus, it's, you know, good experience. So you might as well fight them. No point in running. So we defeat them. But 
there are more. There are lots more. What the? Oomph. Oomph. Okay, we're gonna fight them too. What was that? Oomph. 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 I don't know. Weird. The dialogue doesn't always make a lot of sense in this game. That's one of the things that gives it its charm, really. Okay, so we fought three. Three. Three soldiers that time. Three. Three. And defeated them. That's him, they say. Now we're going to fight them. those soldiers, too. And this time, we are going to be attacked from the back as well. So, we can take care of this, though, in pretty short order. It's no problem. They can't handle us. We're too good. So we're going to just wait for the counter to tick off and then defeat the soldier. Over here, they say. Now they got us surrounded, but it's no problem. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling, grab him. And we smoothly jump on top of the train like a boss and make our way off and there we go there we go down the tunnel down the tunnel down the tunnel and now we're on the choo 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 wedge says cloud never came cloud think he was killed no way says barrett Cloud. I think Jesse has a crush on us. So they're starting to hear some stuff up top. Say, do you think Cloud's going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Oof, if you all weren't such screw-ups. <laughs> hey, Barrett, what about our money? <laughs> uh, nothing, sorry. I love that. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. I love that. So they're kind of hearing some stuff at the door. They don't know what it is. And in we come. Look at that. We're so cool. We are so cool. They all yell, Cloud. Looks like I'm a little late. There it goes. You're damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene, just what I always do. Uh, how do we read that? Uh, parentheses, star, carrot, percentage sign, exclamation point. Haven't everyone worried like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. You were worried about me? Now Barrett's really mad. What? That's coming out of your share, hotshot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Hey, Cloud, you were great back there. We were, weren't we? We, we really were great back there. <laughs> Cloud, we'll do even better next time. Careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Okay, well, everybody is impressed. And now we dove into Mike Talks sports drinks. And the sports drink of choice, of course, is Monster Zero Ultra. This is the drink that I have chosen personally for this week's videos. So if you have a drink on hand, firstly, comment below tell me what you're drinking secondly give me a toast there you go okay bottom
thumbs up. talk sports drinks is now over and now I've returned you to your regulars regularly scheduled program it's like those bumpers those ABC bumpers after these messages we'll be right back and now back to the show Last train out of Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7, train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. So Barrett has himself a seat. Clears out the... Well, doesn't completely clear out the whole thing, but... This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. So let's talk to Biggs. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. And there's Wedge. Someday Avalanche is going to be famous, and me too. Let's talk to Jesse. Hey Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors. You know, flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about one ten thousandth scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. Psst, whisper, whisper, whisper. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew. Look at what's next. Look. This is the route the train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. Whisper, whisper, we definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. And now the alarms go off. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. Whisper, whisper, when the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief. So we talk to her again. I know. Next time, I'll make one just for you. Let's say, looking forward to it. Okay, then. I'll put a little extra effort in it and make it with a bang. We're almost there. After talking with you, I'm ready to try. I think you've lit my fuse. I think she likes us. Of course she does. I mean, who wouldn't like us, right? Especially you. You're the best. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. If that plane weren't there, we could see the sky. So they're looking out the window, and Cloud says, a floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises. The upper world, a city on a plate. It's cause of that ampersand carrot pound sign money sign pound sign pizza the people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. 
On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? Don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. That's very poetic of us. Poetic, 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 poetic. Very, 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 very poetic. Incredibly poetic. Incredibly poetic. And we get a cutscene of the train. And now we are in Sector 7. And we're coming off the train. That's not us yet. There we are. Here comes Avalanche. Rolling through like an avalanche. Okay, so now we're off. And we jumped off because we're too cool for stairs. Okay, Barrett says, yo, get over here, all ya. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come, but don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Awesome. Okay, so now our mission being complete. We go to the save point, and that is where I will end part one of our ASMR playthrough of Final Fantasy 7. 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and also comment below with any suggestions or if you just want to say hello, that's cool too. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're always notified of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. It means the world to me that you are willing to hang out with me for, you know, 30 plus minutes playing Final Fantasy VII. It feels so good to have you here. Thank you very much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I hope that this has helped you. And I hope that you get a good night's sleep. So with that, I bid you a fond farewell and adieu. Subscribe. Social.